In the bowl of a food processor fitted with the blade attachment, pulse together flour, butter, sugar, and salt until the mixture resembles coarse cornmeal. In a small bowl, whisk together ice cold water and lemon juice. Slowly add to the flour mixture, pulsing until the dough just comes together. Squeeze a small piece of dough between your thumb and index finger to make sure it holds its shape. Divide the pastry into three balls. Combine two to form one large ball. Wrap both and refrigerate for 20 minutes. For the cranberry compote, in a small saucepan, combine cranberries, granulated sugar, orange juice, orange peel, and a pinch of salt. Cook over medium heat until the cranberries begin to burst and the mixture begins to thicken, stirring occasionally. Carefully stir in the cherries. Remove from heat and cool. For the caramel apple filling, in a large bowl, gently toss together apples, lemon juice, and lemon peel. In a small bowl, stir together brown sugar, flour, cinnamon, and salt. Sprinkle over the apples and stir gently to coat. In a large pot, melt butter over medium heat. Add the apple mixture and cook about five minutes, stirring frequently. Add the whipping cream and vanilla. Continue cooking, stirring often, until juices thicken and apples are tender, about five minutes. Remove from heat and cool completely. On a lightly floured surface, use your hands to slightly flatten the large pastry ball. Roll pastry from center to edges in a circle 13 inches in diameter. Transfer to a nine inch deep dish pie plate with a flat edge rim. Trim pastry about one inch beyond the pie plate edge. Roll out the remaining pastry ball to an eighth of an inch thick. Using leaf or acorn cookie cutters, stamp out the shapes and transfer to a parchment lined sheet pan. Using a slotted spoon, spoon one third of the cranberry mixture into the bottom of the pre-baked crust. Layer half the apple mixture on top of the cranberries. Repeat with remaining cranberry and apple mixtures. Whisk together one egg and two tablespoons of water. Gently brush on the edge of the crust. Place some of the cutouts on the edge, pressing gently to adhere. Place the remaining cutouts on top of the filling, brushing with the egg wash. Sprinkle with coarse sugar. Place a foil-lined baking sheet on a rack below the pie in the oven to catch any dripping. Bake for 40 minutes, then cover the edges with foil and bake 10 to 15 minutes more or until the crust is deep golden brown and the filling is bubbly. Cool on a wire rack for at least three hours before serving.